Trusted Platform Module is an international standard for a secure cryptoprocessor, which is a dedicated microprocessor designed to secure hardware by integrating cryptographic keys into devices. TPM's technical specification was written by a computer industry consortium called Trusted Computing Group. International Organization for Standardization and International Electrotechnical Commission standardized the specification as ISO IEC 11889 in 2009. TCG continues to revise the TPM specification. They published Revision 116 of the TPM specification version 1.2 on March 3, 2011. They published draft revision 1.07 of the TPM specification version 2.0 for public review on March 13, 2014. Overview, Trusted Platform Module offers facilities for the secure generation of cryptographic keys, and limitation of their use, in addition to a random number generator. It also includes capabilities such as remote attestation and sealed storage, as follows, remote attestation, creates a nearly unforgeable hash key summary of the hardware and software configuration. The program hashing the configuration data determines the extent of the summary of the software. This allows a third party to verify that the software has not been changed. Binding, encrypts data using TPM bind key, a unique RSA key descended from a storage key. Sealing, encrypts data in a similar manner to binding, but in addition specifies a state in which TPM must be in order for the data to be decrypted. Software can use a trusted platform module to authenticate hardware devices. Since each TPM chip has a unique and secret RSA key burned in as it is produced, it is capable of performing platform authentication. Generally, pushing the security down to the hardware level in conjunction with software provides more protection than a software-only solution. However even where a TPM is used, a key would still be vulnerable while a software application that has obtained it from TPM is using it to perform encryption decryption operations, as has been illustrated in the case of a cold boot attack. This problem is eliminated if key, S, used in TPM are not accessible on a bus or to external programs and all encryption decryption is done in TPM. Uses, an example of uses Intel's trusted execution technology. Intel's TXT is used to create a chain of trust, and to remotely attest that a computer has a specified hardware setup and is using specified software. Platform Integrity The primary scope of a TPM is to assure the integrity of a platform. In this context integrity means behave as intended, and a platform is generically any computer platform a year are not limited to PCs or a particular operating system. Start the power on boot process from a trusted condition and extend this trust until the operating system has fully booted and applications are running. Together with the BIOS, TPM forms a root of trust. TPM contains several PCRs that allow a secure storage and reporting of security relevant metrics. These metrics can be used to detect changes to previous configurations and derive decisions how to proceed. Good examples can be found in Linux Unified Key Setup and in Microsoft's BitLocker drive encryption and private core vCage memory encryption. Therefore the BIOS and the operating system have the primary responsibility to utilize TPM in order to assure platform integrity. Only then can applications and users running on that platform rely on its security characteristics, such as secure I.O., what you see is what you get, uncompromised keyboard entries, memory and storage operations. Disk encryption. Full disk encryption applications, such as Secure Doc, de-encrypt in modern Linux kernels, and BitLocker drive encryption in some versions of Windows, can use this technology to protect the keys used to encrypt the computer's hard disks and provide integrity authentication for a trusted boot pathway. A number of third-party full disk encryption products also support TPM. TrueCrypt however decided not to use it. Password protection, access to keys. Data or systems is often protected and requires authentication by presenting a password. If the authentication mechanism is implemented in software only, the access typically is prone to dictionary attacks. Since TPM is implemented in a dedicated hardware module, a dictionary attack prevention mechanism was built in, 
which effectively protects against guessing or automated dictionary attacks, while still allowing the user a sufficient and reasonable number of tries. With this hardware-based dictionary attack prevention, the user can opt for shorter or weaker passwords which are more memorable. Without this level of protection, only passwords with high complexity would provide sufficient protection. Other uses and concerns Almost any encryption-enabled application can, in theory, make use of a TPM, including, digital rights management, protection and enforcement of software licenses. Prevention of cheating in online games. Other uses exist, some of which give rise to privacy concerns. The physical presence feature of TPM addresses some of these concerns by requiring BIOS level confirmation for operations such as activating, deactivating, clearing or changing ownership of TPM by someone who is physically present at the console of the machine. TPM hardware. Starting in 2006, many new laptop computers have been sold with a trusted platform module chip built in. In the future, this concept could be co-located on an existing motherboard chip in computers, or any other device where a TPM's facilities could be employed, such as a cell phone. On a PC either the LPC bus or the SPI bus is used to connect to the TPM. TPM microcontrollers are currently manufactured by Atmel, Broadsom, Infineon, Intel, ITE, Nuvotom, Sinusan, Stmicro Electronics and Toshiba. Criticism, TCG have faced resistance in some areas to deploy this technology, especially in academia, where some authors see possible uses not specifically related to trusted computing, which may raise privacy concerns. The concerns include the abuse of remote validation of software and possible ways to follow actions taken by the user being recorded in a database, in a manner that is completely undetectable to the user. Availability Currently TPM is used by nearly all PC and notebook manufacturers, primarily offered on professional product lines. TPM is implemented by several vendors, Aza, Wipro, Asus, Dell, Inc., Gigabyte Technology, IBM, LG, Fujitsu, HP, Lenovo, MSI, Panasonic, Samsung, Sony, Eurocom Corporation and Toshiba provides TPM integration on their devices. Infineon provides both TPM chips and TPM software, which is delivered as OEM versions with new computers, as well as separately by Infineon for products with TPM technology which complies to TCG standards. Wave Systems offers a broad range of client and server software, which runs on all TPM chipsets. For instance, this software is pre-installed on several models from Dell and Gateway. Microsoft Operating Systems, Windows Vista and later use the chip in conjunction with the included disk encryption component named BitLocker. Microsoft has announced that from January 1, 2015 all computers will have to be equipped with a TPM 2.0 module in order to pass Windows 8.1 hardware certification. In 2006, with the introduction of first Macintosh models with Intel processors, Apple started to ship Macs with TPM. Apple never provided an official driver, but there was a port under GPL available. Apple has not shipped a computer with TPM since 2006. In 2011, Taiwanese manufacturer MSI launched its WinPad 110W tablet featuring an AMD CPU and Infineon security platform TPM which ships with controlling software version 3.7. The chip is disabled by default but can be enabled with the included, pre-installed software. Oracle ships TPMs in their recent X and T series systems such as T3 or T4 series of servers. Support is included in Solaris 11. Google includes TPMs in Chromebooks as part of their security model. VMW ARE's ESXi hypervisor has supported TPM since 4X, and from 5.0 it is enabled by default. Private Core VCage uses TPM chips in conjunction with Intel Trusted Execution Technology to validate systems on boot up. There are also hybrid types. For example, TPM can be integrated into an Ethernet controller, thus eliminating the need for a separate motherboard component. See also, Hardware Security Module, Hen Z Chip, Next Generation Secure Computing Base, 
Trusted Computing, Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, References External Links, Trusted Computing Group, Specifications LWN, OLS Linux and Trusted Computing, GRC Podcast, Trusted Platform Module, TPM Setup Trusted Computing Group Bulletin on the Security of the Trusted Platform Module February 2008, Take Control of TCPA, TPM Reset Attack, Trusted Platform Motherboard Having Physical Presence Detection Based on Activation of Power On Switch, White Paper by Intel Corporation and IBM Corporation Trusted Platforms.